I'm here today to celebrate one of my seventh graders winning the uh, citywide poetry contest from our school. Uh, I'm familiar with the competition. This is my third year with my students being a part of it. Um, the first year I heard about it through my principal. She's a big, you know, proponent for poetry in the, in the classroom. So she signed us up for it, and I enjoy doing poetry in my classes anyway, so I figured maybe this will boost morale, and it did, so we continue to do it. Um, part of the preparation would be we talk about different types of poetry, we read poetry, we write poetry, we listen to poets reading their own poetry, things like that. Boosting morale for a class of seventh graders can be a challenge, especially when it comes to poetry. Occasionally, um, there will be a handful of students who come in and say, yes, we're learning about poetry, but usually it's like, oh, we're learning about poetry, it's just so boring, I don't want to do this. Heads are down, you know, moaning, groaning. So those kids who aren't into poetry as much, but maybe they're really into sports and they like competition, they see, hey, here's a chance to win something, I'm going to go for it and give it a try. So that helps them get into it. Um, Allie, I have been teaching, this is my third year teaching her because we loop, so I teach language arts for 5th, 6th, and 7th. So I've seen her writing progress from 5th grade. She's always been an excellent writer, but she has really kind of taken off with this poetry contest. She, um, you know, she went through the same steps as the other students, learning about different kind, kinds of poetry and, and trying different things, and she kind of went outside the box from writing just about things that were um, going on in her life to something that could be used for anyone, talking about the world. Wouldn't the world be perfect if, you know, if knives were only used in kitchens or if, you know, color only mattered for crayons? So she took on bigger issues as opposed to, my heart's broken, I'm in seventh grade, my boyfriend broke up with me, <laughs> which is a big step for seventh graders. Yeah, I would say that there, it seems like they aren't aware that they have an opportunity to write about anything they want to write about. They, a lot of times, feel like, I show up to class, you tell me to write something, I write it, and then I don't think about writing anymore. So this has given me an opportunity to try and open their eyes and say, you don't have to wait for me to give you a writing assignment. You, poetry is everywhere. You can write a poem about anything. You can write a poem about your grandma, someone sitting at the bus stop. It doesn't matter. So it's, it's given them a wider view of what writing can be, what poetry can be. The, the effect that I have seen uh, with my students before they enter the poetry contest and after, whether they won or they didn't win, is... Um, is really amazing. I, I have kids who come in the first day moaning and groaning saying I don't want to learn about poetry and after we've had a couple of students you know get up and be brave and share their poems the other kids think well, I can do that I can, I can write something and and then they write it and they share it and everyone says wow that was really great and they start boosting their confidence and saying you know I am a writer these kids who used to think language arts was stupid have now decided oh hey Mrs. Fisher I found this really cool poem and then they share it with the class or hey, I wrote this, what do you think of it? And they're helping each other revise, and it, it really it helps them, them blossom in their writing. And in school in general, kids who generally don't like any classes are excited for poetry, which is great.